going on born for sports happy thanksgiving to everybody out there just want to make a quick video you know uh wrapping up this post game with the new york giants as they fall again to the dallas cowboys on thanksgiving tonight 27 to 20 and a game that really wasn't that close to be honest as the score is giants basically were down 17 going into the fourth quarter you know got a couple of scores late to make it closer but just uh you know just another struggle just another struggle um another struggle offensively for the most part um the same old stuff defense can't stop a nosebleed with the run and uh you know, Dowdle, 23 carries, 112 yards. Giants gave up 126 yards rushing. But it just seemed like any time the Cowboys needed, who they came into the game not really having a lot offensively going themselves, but it seemed like every time the Cowboys needed to make a first down, they had Dowdle run the ball, get what he needed to get. He had a touchdown tonight. 23 carries, 112 yards. You know, uh, you know, same old stuff with the Giants. Can't stop the run. And uh, also, Dexter Lawrence got hurt in the second half, which is a major concern I'll get to in a moment. But, yeah, um, just another one of those games where the Giants just status quo, bad offense, not enough plays, you know. I'll say Drew, they looked a little better tonight than they did last week with DeVito, with Drew Locke. I'll say that. But Drew Locke being Drew Locke, man, doing what we all expect him to do if you know how Drew Locke is. You know, 21 and 32, 178 yards. He had a touchdown run, but two costly turnovers in the game. Gave up a pick six on a screen pass. Another screen pass by a giant quarterback that's a pick six this year. It's it's just snake bit. And I don't want to kill Locke for that because it was a real good play by the Dallas Cowboy defender. He made a really good play. But it just goes to show you the kind of season the Giants are having, man. You know, that they would have screen pass pick sixes in multiple games this year. You know, it just it just goes to show you what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, also, uh, that was really the key to the game, if I'll be honest. Um, uh, that pick six really turned the game around. I thought the Giants came out pretty decent, you know, the first drive of the game. You know, after they fell down a field goal to open the game up in a pretty long drive by the Cowboys, but the defense short kept them at a short field goal. And then the offense got on the board, Locke took them down the field, uh, ran the ball. On a big run to the one-yard line, they originally caught a touchdown, but they called him down at the one, and then Tracy ran it in. But um, that really turned the game, that pick six on the screen pass. That really turned the game right around, man. Um, it's just one of those things, man. The Giants have a lot of problems. You know, as I've said many times, uh, quarterback has been the biggest problem, I think, with this offense. But it's not just the quarterback, the reason why this team is two and ten now. Two and ten. There's a lot of problems on this team, and it's getting hot, man. That seat is getting hot for Dable. It's getting hot for Shane. Uh John Marrow was seen at the game just with a look of disgust sitting in the box by himself. Gotta be wondering, man, what is this man thinking right now? Uh oh, that little comment back early in the season about how hey i'm not making any in-season changes and he doesn't anticipate making any after season changes well you can see the wheels are turning and that seats are getting hot and there might be some some moves he's gonna have to make or might make despite his reluctance because it's just not getting any better this was a very winnable game on the schedule no Dak prescott um you know Again, once again, <laughs> this quarterback, the backup, uh, we, we can't beat him. Uh, he gets another win against us. You know, you would think, hey, you know, not facing Dak Prescott, you know, and then facing the backup, you will have a real good chance. Well, 
<laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I mean, to let's be honest, you know what I mean? Like, let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the numbers of the Cowboy quarterback. I mean, Rush, he's beaten us how many times since he's become the quarterback? I mean, most of his wins are against the Giants, and he was the better quarterback today. He didn't do much, but he didn't turn the ball over, and that was a big part of the game. So you got to wonder what the Giants are uh, owner John Mara is thinking at this point, man. It can't be good, man. It can't be good. Um, Dex injury is a concern to me. Uh, he didn't come back in the game. You know, Dex wanted to be out there, and it's an elbow injury. It looked like kind of on the replay, he landed pretty awkward. Man, the run defense is already a problem because of what they have next to him in the middle. But boy, if the Giants lose Dex and Lawrence for a long period of, period of time, or well, you know, if it's an injury that's going to need multiple weeks, you got to wonder if the Giants might just shut him down for the season the way the season is gone. And I shudder to think what this defense is going to look without look like without Dexter Lawrence. So uh, the Giants fall to two and ten. As we said, it's a, it's it's dark times in in, in Giant Land. It's dark times. They fall to two and ten on the season, and now zero and five against the NFC East. Just brutal, man. Just brutal, just awful, and it probably ain't going to be a win against the NFC because we got Philly the last game of the year. We'll see if they even need that game. But just a brutal, brutal season continuing to go downhill. Um, the next game will be at MetLife against the Saints. We'll see if the Giants can find a way to win that game. But, you know, the Saints will have the edge with the quarterback and uh, better, but they're not having a great season either. But, hey, We'll see what happens, man. So all in all, Giants fall to 2-10, and 10, and uh, that'll do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Born for Sports. And for everybody out there, happy Thanksgiving. Hug your families. Thank them for putting up with your ish with this giant season, killing your mood every day, <laughs> every day, man. Thank them. Tell them you love them. Like and subscribe. <laughs>